I didn't even think, I didn't blame. I said, done, deal. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What You Wearing. Today we're here with Omar, aka The Wrong Wrist on Instagram. Welcome Omar. Thank you, thank you for having me, Helbert. It's such an honor, honestly, and a privilege to be able to do this with you. Yeah, I think we've talked about doing this for a while, and you came to Hong Kong around, you know, this time last year. And, uh, you know, you're about to leave, and that's why, you know, we're like, yeah, let's, let's get this video done before you leave. Yeah, exactly. And it's been a nice journey along the way with you guys. So, THC has been quite part of my journey and my transition coming to Hong Kong. And I'm gonna miss it dearly, to be very honest. So, I actually, you know, first reached out to you on Instagram before you even came to Hong Kong because I noticed you were posting about your final five collecting strategy or philosophy. And I thought, you know, who is this guy? Talk to us a little bit about your final five, you know, collecting strategy. Yeah, whatever you do in life, too much is the same as having too little. So you need to find the right balance. And so for me, number five was something I wanted to stick with. It's because at the end of the day, I want to really wear them and really enjoy them. And whatever piece I decided to keep or acquire during this period had to be meaningful. And that's why I eventually lined up on those five pieces that we have in front of me. Yeah, and these are all, you know, very much modern independent watchmaking, five yeah. very different brands, five very different personalities behind True. the brands. True. So why don't we start from, you know, left to the right? first one. Yeah, the Let's first do one. It. So this is the uh, limited edition FP Journe uh, Chrono Bleu Biblos that uh, Journe made in collaboration with Claude Sfer. Claude Sfer was the AD of Journe in Lebanon and quite a, a a mentor for me, you know, and a guru, somebody that I respect a lot. So in 2019, I I became closer to the family. I built a nice relationship with them. It was always based on uh, mutual respect and honesty. It took me a couple of years uh, before I made the move. And so after a while, I'm like, okay, listen, guys, I'm in a phase in my life where I need to buy this watch. What can we do? Obviously, you know, the first question was like, hey, what are you talking about? It's impossible, you know, because also I made it very difficult because I said I want the one with the uh, Arabic numerates, our mm. Arabic numerates. So they're like, OK, that's really impossible. There's only 20 pieces and this is limited to 99. And, you know, it, it's not that uh, I felt sad or anything. It's OK if, if you miss out, you try and it doesn't happen. But I really wanted it, you know, and so I was persistent. So I kept asking and asking and asking. And one day I was sitting with Sammy, who's the brother of Claude and his partner. They worked together. And I was really like, I was joking, but in a very firm manner. Hey, I want the watch. What are we going to do, you know? And he started laughing. He's like, Omar, we've been there. I'm like, but really, there must be something. And he started thinking and he's like, I might know someone. Because, you know, in Lebanon, we had a custom. When somebody opens the stores, a uh, store, uh, people usually buy to say congratulations. So that's mm -hmm. our way to support you and your business, you know? So this is something in our culture and our custom that we like to do. So many people bought this watch that are not into watches per se. So he's like, I might have someone who doesn't love watches, but he bought this watch because, you know, he wanted to support us and congratulate us on this venture. I'm like, okay, let's reach out to him. He's like, okay, I'll reach out to him next week. No, you're not getting it. We reach out to him now. <laughs> Seriously, it was a Friday. So he picks up the phone, reach out to the guy. He's like, hey, do you remember the watch you bought from us in 2014? Blah, 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 blah. He's like, what did you do with it? He's like, nothing. I just threw it in my safe. He's like, I never wore it. It's still in the same original package and box and everything. He's like, yeah, as it is. I put it in the bag, walk out the store and put it in my safe. <laughs> Seriously, that's how it happened. And then he's like, okay, I have someone who wants to buy it. Are you interested? So he's like, okay, let me check the price online. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> we're not gonna get there. I hope there's no listing of this watch online. Unfortunately, there was one, you know, I was on Chrono 24 and he looks at the price and the price was already like, wow, astronomical already like then. So Sammy being a dear friend, you know, and we spent so much time together, he's like, okay, no, 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 you know what? 
let's let's catch up tomorrow let's go somewhere have a drink and we'll talk about it in details and then he comes to me and he's like hey man okay this is what's gonna happen i convinced him to sell it at 15 percent less than the price of current 24. so if you're ready we'll do the deal i didn't even think i didn't blink i said done deal and it's been with me ever since and i truly enjoy wearing it so that's the story of the Jean Biblos. And the details on the watch is quite, uh, once you go into it, it's quite interesting. Because this is a limited edition for the boutique that opened in Lebanon. And it was the 10th boutique that opened. So they made a theme about it. So obviously the inspiration came from the city of Biblos, which is actually one of the oldest city in the world. It's more than 5,000 years old. And uh, the dial, was skeletonized. So it's a chrono blue, a regular chrono blue, but they decided to skeletonize the diet. And this will represent and mimic the coastline, the beach, the shore, the sun. And even the pattern on the diet with the blue is like wavy, you know? So it can represent either the sky, it can represent the cloud, or it can re represent the ocean. And Phoenicians were traders and sailors. So the J, which coincidentally happened to be the 10th letter of the alphabet, was written in Phoenician alphabet. So the mm -hmm. J is different. It's not your regular alphabet. So the whole story falls in line and it's just amazing. Wow, what a story. Yeah. I mean, this must be such a meaningful watch to you because yes. firstly, there's the connection to Lebanon, your home Very country. Cool. The connection with the you know family of Claude Sphere. Yes. And you know the connection to Epijon, the brand itself. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Very true. And you know, once you're seeking those independents and you have a limited budget and you're shuffling your cards and you're shuffling your watches you can't just fall on too many pieces okay so you need to focus on the it piece that's going to be yours from this brand and it couldn't it, i mean it couldn't be written any better than to land on this one so i'm very happy with it i feel very fortunate and not just because of owning the watch it's just because of the relationship yeah, I couldn't agree more. 